Yeah. I'm Andrew Zink. Uh, uh, we are here. I'm representing a, a family from Alabama. Go ahead. Alabama. Go ahead um, we're talking about trying to get a road closed on some property that they've acquired. It's uh, been grown over down in York Township, just in the far southeast corner of Um We didn't know exactly what we had to do to get it closed. Um, it's grown over the trees. It's uh, yeah, southeast 50th, the east mile. There's no connecting road on into Reno County. Um, it's been grown over the trees. Uh, it's been I can remember helping my cousin put a minimum minimum maintenance sign on it 40 years ago, and. Uh, just wondering what we need to do and how we need to go about maybe getting it closed permanently or I know the reason this came about is we had some people uh, going up that road saying that there was a stop sign on it and saying well there's well, that's, a, that's a public road we can go in there well it goes in about a quarter of a mile and then they go in onto our property line. Yeah. and we decided if we could get it closed that way you guys I think it's a liability issue for you guys to have to put a stop sign on it so uh, the stop sign I mean we don't have it problem with the stop sign getting there. Oh, oh. I mean, it's. I mean, yeah. If it becomes private, then we'll pull the stop sign. Okay. Because you, you have. Because that was their reasoning: is there was a stop sign at the public roads. We. Oh no, I had that discussion one day with the gentleman. Okay. <laughs> Probably the same one. But anyway, I didn't. Really one morning. Yeah. Uh huh. We didn't know about how we needed to, to get it closed permanently. I've uh, I've also spoken with all the joining landowners. There's four landowners involved on that mile. And I've spoken with all of them verbally. I haven't got anything in writing. I didn't know if I needed to. But they're all in agreement. To have there ain't anybody that has a pasture back there that couldn't get there. Um, there's yeah. one gentleman that's landlocked, but he accesses it from northeast 40th on the north end. Has an easement on the north end going into his. And I talked. I spoke with him about that, just for that reason that he's only got one access that way. But he said, well, we've never been able to access it anyway. So, so yeah, you know, he said, yeah. I <laughs> and it, I don't ever remember that road. Being I just we're just kind of trying to close a close a loophole here. I think more than anything. I didn't know about if we had to. We had we had one closure in Pratt County. My family had, and we had to publish something in the paper a couple yeah. of times. Yeah, and, yeah. they still have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. And the hearing. Okay. Yeah, and that shows up for the hearing to protest closing the road. And listen to them. Okay. Um, I guess that's my question this morning. What what do I? What's my next step? And, do I need to well, do anything else? Well, that county attorney to help write up the notice. Isn't that all we do, Philip? The legal notice, yeah. I was going to call you, Phil, but yeah, I was talking about it. It's, it's, it's the same thing as a minimum. Yeah. I mean, basically, it's yeah, so the resolution the same thing as a minimum. This part, so. I'm going to publish it for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is all right. Is here. that something we need to pay for? Is that something that we can pay for? Or? Um, when the townships do a minimum maintenance run, they pay for the publications. Uh, have you talked to the township about that? I, I haven't. I mean, I remember it was a minimum maintenance and they quit doing anything with it back in the 80s. So. Who, who's on the township board? Uh, it would be G.C. Rimble, Ronnie Ferris, and uh, I'm not sure who our third one is anymore. Maybe Benny, Benny, Benny Hayes. Benny Hayes. Benny Hayes. Benny Hayes. Yeah. Yeah. I, can, I can approach them too, if that's all right with you. Yeah, you might touch base with them. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure let them know. Since it's a township, really, yeah. if you start with them, and then yeah. we'll do the legal and then publicize and then the hearing. Okay. Um, after I meet with them or speak with them, do I need to come back to the, the commissioner? Just give me a call. Or? Okay. And then I'll get the county attorney. Okay. You, I mean, you guys don't have a problem with that. I don't no, know. Yeah. I think we can get it done probably, but I'd like to at least run it by them first. Okay. All right. No problem. Are you Larry's relative? Um, cousin, Larry, our first okay. cousin. Okay. Yeah, we grew up. I grew up right down there in the southeast corner, the far southeast section in in Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know about where you were. At. Yeah, I'm on the curve. I'm on the curve south of Zeta. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody knows where that is. Yeah, I well, another right. half mile east, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're uh, we're right in three corners, Pratt, Stafford, Reno County, yeah. This is my county area. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I've got a dog. I'm a dog trainer. I've got a dog kill business down there also. We oh. farm about everything in CRP anymore. But we, uh, I just went to work for the gentleman from Alabama in the last couple of years. I managed all the property they own, 1,200 acres in Stafford County now, and paying taxes on it. Okay. They're a nice bunch of people to work with. They were just a little concerned people were going in, accessing the property through this by, by saying that it was a public road. So. 
other than what we're looking at. Yeah. Okay, so with that one bridge we looked at a couple years ago, we had to go into Reno County to, to get to it. Well, remember the oil rig thing that was down there? Did you have to go into Reno County yeah. to come back into it? I think yeah. it's Was that down by you? But, uh, there was some more down there. Yeah. Reno County anywhere. To the north, to the north you probably into. Yeah, you'd have to go clear up to 30th. Well, we went, on, we went on the uh, Langdon Road. Mm -hmm. And then we had to go into Reno County and then come back in. There's probably an our area. There was a bridge down there. Because I think we went by his place, because then we were almost in Pratt County. I remember the curve. Yeah, it could be in there. There's six sections in there with no roads through, yeah. no roads leading on into Reno County. So. We've got some boxes in there. Was there it a box? Few very few structures. Well, I mean, it was probably a box. Okay. Yeah. It'd have to be on that drive trip. Yeah. That runs here, right on to Larry's house in there. Yeah. There's a bridge on that road, then there's a couple on the one. Yeah, there's see that boxes. Yeah, we've got one on the south end of that, section 13. All right, I'll uh, contact your township board and uh, then just call you. Mm -hmm. And you are need of that's right. I'm sorry about mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. that's right. I will uh, contact you okay. and uh, see where we go from there. And then okay. the county attorney will take care of putting that or posting that in the paper. Or, mm -hmm. Okay. If there's a bill in the you know, if we need to take care of that, you know, let me know. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Five four nine three three five oh nine. Phone number for her. Okay. I'm in the book too. Yeah. I'm. Everybody has my number. Three nine oh nine. Three five oh nine. Three five oh nine. Well, you know, the way the way some of these phone books are is a challenge to find a number. I don't know. Just Google it. Right now. Google's your friend. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate your time this morning. Yeah. These are just a couple of places. Doug Lamb had contacted me about mean stop signs to be over south of uh, Chain Chaz and then North Carolina. There's a place over there. Oh, they're in that corner. Yeah, they're yeah. corners that are blind. I know Doug talked to Chris and Chris. Yeah. So. Yeah. All this. That is Yeah. That's just a letter documenting oh. the resolutions. We've been doing this since March. This. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens quick, does it? I finally got him on the phone yesterday. That's a job. We need to get this done. <laughs> Vegetation is definitely growing on the vegetations. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's lots of places. You know, they start slowing down. Yeah. Like you can see. There are other places that you still will see. And there's very went out, at least on the mower. Yeah. And the grant was put in for the high risk roll run. It's just not going to go through right now because they're trying to do all the major collectors for the township. For, for that's for the township stuff right now. So I mean, we had all our well, minor collectors I guess we call it, on all our roads when we got all them done. So this it may be a few years for um, we'll just that, that. we'll just keep applying and find the solutions. That's just to update all the townships. Yeah, that, that's just, you know, yeah. I mean, it's going to engineer some of their bad places out that, that they need signs. Well, so you, before we put a stop sign under that Louie place, you want to talk to my granddad about taking them trees out? 
mean, I hate to put a stop sign in there if we can just take those street clean and catch it right up. I don't know. That's up to you. I mean, is that an option? Or you're talking the stop sign would be on the east west. No, stop sign be on the north south. North south. I think on north south. Was it? Hasn't there been one there? It's on the south side. There's, so there's one there now that's on the south side. South, but not on the north side. Yeah, but not on the north side. So I think there must be an issue from the south, south. to begin with. Yeah. Well, there's always been trees on that south. That's yeah. right. Like so I mean, therefore, I mean, it's kind of Well, aren't things the same? Yes. Basically, they're well, just they're just a, they're, 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 they're they're a mile apart. They're, yeah, they're a mile, mile apart. A mile apart. Yeah. One's, at, one's at 80th and 90th, and one's at 80th and 100th. Yeah. Other than that, they're unless I printed. The I don't same. see any. Did, did, <laughs> did I print the wrong recipe? I, to me, this looks the same. And I didn't know if we need a resolution for each stop sign. Uh, if, I, <laughs> if, if not, I will bring the wrong oh, yeah. If I if yeah, not, I printed the, the, I printed the wrong there? one off then because I had two. They're both the same. Okay, I will. I will go. I'm glad you sent that. Yeah, that's the one you sent me. The okay. Well, then I will get. Is that, if that's for a hundred? Hundred and eighty. Okay, I'll go get the one for ninety. <laughs> I, I printed the letter off. Of it. Yeah, I okay. printed the letter. Sorry, but I was just there. Did I do this all for resolution? Yeah, you're paying. Yeah, you're paying. Yeah, you're paying. <laughs> okay. See, I'm consistent. <laughs> Listen, we need a resolution for one stop sign, and then the next for the other across the road. Then <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of bad news. Uh, we had to send a uh, cat letter to you. So oh. I to the shop. Oh. They thought it was somewhere in front of the train and so they're in the process of tearing it apart. Finding out what's going on there. That didn't make my day like that. I'll go get the correct one. I've got it right here. Oh, you do? Southwest 90th, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. We don't need to look at a map. We're sure no, it's Southwest 90th. You can go by the letters because the letters are right. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you distract me. I don't sweat the small stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Just the rest of the Well, I would hate, you know, 50 years from now, somebody go back through there and say, look at those dummies. What are they doing? Yeah, I, I, was, I went through all the resolutions from 1961 yesterday, yeah. and there was there's lots of stop signs out there that probably yeah, uh, don't have a. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of interesting. <laughs> hey, I know they're somewhere. <laughs> and there probably needs to be a lot more. Yeah, or at least field signs. Some of the posters are bad. You know, I'll tell you what would help. To do that much dirt work, you just most of them are just low in places. Yeah, well, it's just, just like right amazing. there, east a half a mile east of here. I mean, that that old that old thing was blowing up over four feet in about two years. Yeah, it's just all blown up. Or not the baseball field. You can't see anywhere in that corner. It's just blown in. The thing. And he used to be flat as yeah. You know, so when we had that west wind this spring, you know, yeah. about one or two days, you know. Man, there were a lot of dirt in there yeah. for no, you know. Yeah. I thought about taking my loader over there and cleaning that, taking that, some of those signs down and leveling that all back off over there. Yeah, I always want to clean that south side off of there. 15,000 pole lines. Yeah. Dead lines is, I mean, we got into it once and we, had, we found three dead lines down there. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Where's your other one? Aren't you glad that you emailed that to me? Yes, ma'am. I'll make a motion that we adopt resolution 2014-12 and 2014-13. I second. We have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2014-12 and 2014-13. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. And we can start laptop next week.
Oh, I had a phone call from a guy on a, was, had talked to you about a drainage pipe north between the, his farm and his a quarter across the road in uh, Albano Township, I believe. Do you have a plot map if needed? He was wondering if you thought about that or done anything about that, about increasing the number, not the diameter of the pipe, but. So it was going straight north to the. Like I did. Yeah, there's three of them. Three I know. Three. And now the guy told him, I says, where, where, where do you start? Where do you start? Right. About, about, you know, what size diamond pipe you need. I said, I, under, I, and I understood his frustration at the time. Right. Yeah. And the guy says, where, where do you draw, I thought, where do you draw the line? I mean, I thought the way he was describing it to me that it all flowed to one, but there's, they're no, all there's, about, it, no, there's, they're all about a couple hundred yards apart, I believe. Yeah. There's, yeah. In fact, one of them runs at an angle. Yeah. And then there's another one on down to the east. The only thing I could do is have the engineer look at that sometime and, and, and see what I, I. Yeah, and you can't see them on here. And there's and there's the, everything's just shallow right there. Yeah. yeah. That's that's yeah, because there's one about there, and there's one mm -hmm. there, and then there's another one there, I believe. Yeah, and then like there's that. one at the intersection. That, Back uh, there, the other this intersection or this one? Uh, the one straight south of the north of this house. Yeah, that's his house. house. Okay, it would be straight north there. Right here. Because yeah. that road's a far away. Well, he's saying that this one backs up with a three inch rain into this pivot mm -hmm. and instead of flowing. Yeah, it take it towards the creek. Yeah, yeah it, it, it all eventually goes to the creek. Yeah. But like I told him, I said, where, where do you draw the line on Yeah, but he said the way this goes is actually over across Fred's. Yeah, there's Fred's one. There's Harold's old house over this <laughs> way. And then it's a great. Yeah. yeah, that one probably does. Now the one straight south or north of him. Goes back goes, the other way. goes straight north north to the creek. This one? Uh, the this one, one, no, the one, the one that's dying on yeah. the intersection there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not sure about some of the, you know, I think all you know, but anything east of that all goes back okay. over there to run back to the northeast and runs over there south of Garrels. Okay. Well, you might give them a call if you can. And, uh, after I looked at it, I, I mean, there's there's drainage there. I mean, yeah. Now whether we need to change this ditch or clip make it all where it flows a little better. And that's just it. But he ain't gonna like that because it's gonna be it's gonna, the ditch is gonna be out in the pivot. Yeah. <laughs> So it's just kind of a, I see what he's wanting to do, but I don't see tearing that black top root up to put another pipe in there just to mm -hmm. move that water across that pivot if there's adequate drainage there. Yeah. But, but anyways, he called me the day about that. Okay. He wanted me to visit with him. Okay. That. No, I thought I thought I explained that to him well enough at the time. I said, which, and he just said, and he wasn't. Yeah, no, he's not mad. He, yeah, just, I can always ask. he was just curious of if you'd done anything about it and, yeah. and what, what, you know, what. And the trouble of it is, any engineer going to tell you that you know you need a foot of drop every. That's our our trouble around here. We are so well, flat. Yeah. That it takes yeah. forever for water to get away. That it's, yeah. it, it becomes an issue at times. Yeah. And when you get a three and four inch rain, unfortunately, you're going to lose some crops. Yeah. Yeah. And I understand, believe me, I understand his frustration. Oh, but yeah. I mean, that's a lot of money sitting out oh, there yeah. that goes down. Yeah. I had a call last night as well from a patron on Old 50 that I got up with, but he really appreciated the shoulders on the road so he could get his tractor up. Down on the shoulder. Yeah. Well, they were a little wide so he had to come back and take it. That was his word that issue we talked yeah. about. Yeah. And, and it looks good. <laughs> he says, right, I'm glad you did that. And I said, no, I didn't do it. Phil did it. <laughs> well, we've been a lot of dirt this spring. Yeah. yeah. And it looks good. I've had a lot of confidence on most of the places. Uh, most of the places have kind of grass back over. But it, I was surprised about how quick they did. Oh, it, yeah. Doesn't, this country doesn't I, take long. That's, that's why. Airplane spray roundup's not helping your ditches much. <laughs> 
some issues never really stop <laughs> 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 Drainage pipe north of town. Mr. Green hit hit it and didn't know it was there. Ooh. Four foot diameter drainage pipe. He asked me what he should do about it. And I said, well, I'd go talk to your neighbor and have an understanding what it, what it's doing there. What he plugged it full of hay bales. Oh. So we'll probably hear about that one. Oh. Yeah. Where's that? Close to the water course. Um, off of Leon's. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it had grown up in plum bushes and weeds, so he didn't know it was there. And he hit it? Hit it with his one way, I think. Oh, my. That's a big pipe. That's that a big is pipe. a big pipe. I remember being on that, though. I knew it was there when he told me about it. But he said it had grown, overgrown so much, and he was just thought he could kill some of the plum bushes. Mm. And we bought four big pipes to go down here. Oh, replace it. Oh, well, that, that's that wooden box she was talking about. That's the one I showed you. Uh, we bought four, three, four, four, no, four four foot pipes to, to take the place of that cement or that, uh, no, uh, that box. Yeah. And we'll put them in this fall. And I told him to go talk to his neighbor and the next day. He said, It's full of hay. That, and that, that was used to GC. <laughs> I bet you was where that was. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I was at yeah. Wooden Wooden Box. Yeah. 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 He's going to start a war. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that now. Yeah. <laughs> but then there was another one <laughs> way down there. Check out what's going to turn the yeah. back north. So we went, got came down the Zenith, went over to Lagos Road. Yeah. And we were in Reno County and went south. So the nut and used back to be flood in. ground that followed it. Oh, so that's that's machine level. Oh, that's 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 his place. I think. He probably told me this. It was a four foot workshop. And back to the water. Now he's plugged it for what he so did. This is a two K dot thing. It was Highway 50. The Zenith. Yeah, they're putting, they, I did no, see they have a brand new pipe. So they're getting ready to put that pipe in. See more arguments. And then the Silent Drive and the water. I'll guarantee you. Yeah. Yeah. That was on the <laughs> <my> biggest <laughs> issues. Oh, jeez. I mean, when I drove by 65 miles an hour, I didn't yeah, like it. Yeah, I can tell you stories for me. I don't know. Last the summer, we south, big the very west one? <laughs> yeah, the south. The very west one. There's three. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's the west. I believe it's the west one, the far west. But I would think if he machine leveled that, it's probably right where you do it that way. And now he's got hay bales. <laughs> well, just goes to show you. Relay that message. Okay. Another yeah, generation, or, you know, not our agreements. I have a message down to Franklin. We just got a meeting yesterday, so we'll see. Just on the close of that road, he's the same. Oh yeah. The elevator. Fifty years that. I don't know why they don't have a road through here. <laughs> well, now, since the harvest is over. Well, like I told him, maybe. Kind of, kind of, sort of. I've got 10 acres left. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> like I told him, I'll have to pick up. It's just like, like I, I just told him. I was going to take it. Corn, har corn harvest and fall harvest is a bigger harvest for us. Uh, we have a lot of harvest. And it takes more of a toll there. Right? Yeah, it does. Although because it's just one last spring or cut. Sometimes it will. Brett and I never walk around. I watched one turn and just go in behind. I mean, it yeah, was like it was like a ball board. Joe the front amended wheels the, were. Um, this position of surplus property to add a triple wave on there. Oh. So we could do like our county of stuff. I don't yeah. think we can do those Game vehicles. Mm -hmm. But like if Philip has a truck he wants to put on there, right. he just amended that to add uh -oh. purple wave or some other option. It's on the second. So, so when you pass it. Yeah, it's just amending the resolution passed. I'll make a motion we adopt resolution 2014-14. Uh, second that. We have a motion second to pass resolution 2014-14. All in favor say aye. Do you have to, wait a minute, do you have to do an R? No. No. Aye. Aye. I don't know how she gets on her... Uh, Dot nine, I, dot nine I's and cross and T's. That's how the world was made. And random copiers. <laughs> you just 
See where you raised. Right? <laughs> you suppose that because your last name starts with S? Well, sometimes. <laughs> I didn't pick it. Or the minutes. Oh, oh there well, I, make, I make a motion to approve the minutes of July 2nd, 2014. Uh, second that. I have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from July 2nd. All in favor say aye. 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 Today the uh, yeah squeaks squeaks you coming Bill? Yep. Your bridge was that the right word? I still can't tell. Okay. <laughs> well, I thought maybe you asked her away. She said she's Brett, here. Brett, Brett, sorry, Brett. 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 Sorry, I'm not there. Uh huh. It there's still a hole there, but it doesn't feel soft. I mean. Well, that bridge that. that but how, how just, did he get that in there without taking the dirt off the very the top? I don't know, but I don't know to do that anymore. I know. Come on in. I've tried to scrape it off as much as I can. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, yeah. Morning. yeah it's just kind of hard to see. Yeah, on a wooden deck, I don't need any dirt off on that. I don't know. Just put it on your floor. Oh, there, when he's digging that ditch out. It's their responsibility, but you're the only one that can fix it. Well, what was that? He said, give it to you, you'll probably take it. Any red bow on it? No. The last one we took out of there, we had to swallow those and we'll minimize because that would be a nice deal back there. And that would be my guess, probably about what we have to do. That's a green each dish with a spin and issue all the time, too. Yes, it does. Ryan did spray it the other day, which I was pleased with. Otherwise, we had 10 foot tall weeds in there, and the water can't get out of town anyway. Well, frankly, it's a maintenance issue. And you got it, it, it washes all the dirt down there, so you got to get it cleaned out. Now you have enough bind weeds down there. I saw bind weeds oh, oh, That's what I called Ryan. Well, I bet. said, You've got, you, we need to spray that. It's bind He said, Well, melt. Oh, wow, I can't believe that. But, and he did, so. But it's got bind weed going in the city ditch. You know how far that will spread. Oh, it's all over. I got it. And it, it really showed up here in the last few years mm -hmm. with, with the drought. I've seen more bind weed around. I blame it on you the ditches out. It's a bad Why not? It all rolls downhill. <laughs> Is there anything else? That's all I got. All right, thank you. Thank you. Good luck, guys. <laughs> you already said it. Huh? Yeah. Set the move. Good morning. Come on. Good morning, folks. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Brent Harms, and uh, Rob Rubler behind me for PNS Security. Rob Rubler. Hey, Rob. Hi. Morning. Morning. How are you doing? Good. We talked to you yeah. yesterday. Yes. So, and uh, I'll be yeah. present these to you folks. Hi, your name again? Rob Rubler. And these are some of the bids that we put together, a little bit of information with them, uh, kind of go along and show you uh, what the bid is about, uh, cameras, what we're going to use, um, maybe some alarm systems to kind of secure the uh, fire, EMS, uh, health department, and that area. Uh, first on the left side is the probably the most important there, the money part. And uh, I guess, how much time are you allowing us today? 
How much do you want? Here, the last one. Last one on the agenda. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Great, great. And more than 45 minutes? Uh, we <laughs> can do under that. that. <laughs> we charge by the hour. <laughs> All right. We'll reflect that well. No. No. Um, the first bit on there is the uh, called Stepper County Emergency. That's going to be the camera bit. That's going to cover uh, all of the areas that are in concern. Um, one being the courthouse, annex, uh, fire and EMS building, uh, health department, highway department, and weed department. So what this bit is reflecting, the first line shows a quantity of five. Uh, that's going to be the FLIR kit. Um, it's going to consist of six cameras. Uh, it does have an 8-channel PoE. PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. These cameras are high-def cameras. Instead of running a single analog cable, which requires a video side and a power side, uh, IP is much better. It's going to give you a great picture. Uh, really, there's no comparison between it and the old analog system. Uh, so you're going to be able to see more facial recognition, um, images on your clothing. You'll be able to read my, my logos to where you probably wouldn't, or it'll be very fuzzy with analog. Uh, so that's why we went with this, uh, being a little more secure, we want a better picture. Uh, the cameras are 2.1 megapixel cameras, which is really great. We're using those at our store, uh, we're just putting those up. Uh, so if you're ever in Great Bend, you want to take a quick look, just stop in, you kind of see, we've got a comparison up there, a video of showing you the difference between analog and digital. Uh, you'll be pleasantly surprised with that. Uh, the second line is showing one quantity. That's a four channel, four camera. And on the right side is our pamphlet of the six, the four, and then it goes into some alarm systems. So you could take a look at those if you'd like. And that one is for the weed department. Right, right. The four channel will be for the weed department. <coughs> These are all capable of being networked. Um, if we have some bandwidth issues, um, or you just don't want those connected to a network, that's fine too. Uh, I have been in uh, contact with your IT uh, professional. Uh, we've worked together kind of talking about some of the uh, networking issues for Stafford County, how that would work. Um, we, we'd be able to network these if that's something you want to do. And what that means is one piece of software, uh, one application on your phone, if you desire, you want something like that, uh, will work seamlessly with all of it. The only one I believe we're going to have a problem with is a weed department. And that's just simply because there's no internet out there. Um, if it's something we want to look at in the future, uh, we could do that. We could put up a, a radio communications out there and shoot that back to the courthouse. Um, they are encrypted, so we won't have to worry about anything like that. I do understand um, with being in law enforcement and working with uh, KC, just uh, the network security that you're going to need at the courthouse. So that's why I've been working with your IT guy with that uh, to kind of level out and what we need to do to keep that secure if that's an option that you want to do. Um, pretty much the cable ends and fasteners on that is pretty much self-explanatory. That's going to be the, the amount of cable that we're going to run um, with measurements that we've taken. And it's only Cat5. Right. Cable. Yeah. And Cat5 is your internet protocol for transmissions there. The second bid or the second page is for the fire and EMS building. That's kind of an interesting bid. And I was doing some thinking on that one. Uh, our new touch panel is the links. We have a 5100 series, a 52 and a 7000. Uh, for this application, we'd be looking at a 5100 or the 52. Uh, the price is the same there. It's just the new thing on the market that's coming out. The package itself contains one motion, three doors and windows, and a key fob on the alarm system. It has all kinds of bells and whistles. One of the things I thought would be beneficial for them, since there's multiple people coming in and out, um, would be a door lock feature. It's a push button door lock feature. Uh, instead of having a key, and I don't remember what's on there now, if there's a push button lock or not. On the back door. Yeah. On the back door? Mm -hmm. Okay. We could replace that with a, a Z-Wave door lock. What that is, is when you punch in the code on the door, it registers with the alarm panel, 
and it says, okay, you are Kirk coming in. And we're going to disarm the alarm. At that point, we can set it to do home automation. Um, it will turn on lights. It will turn off lights. It will unlock doors. It will lock doors, disarm, and arm. And nobody has to even run to the panel to do that. So once they hit that lock on that door, it's taken care of for them. Uh, and each person will have their own uh, code. Correct. Code. So you know it'll log who came in and when they came in. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Uh, this is a 24-7 monitor alarm system, and we like that. It comes with a homeowner's discount. I don't know if you're familiar with alarm systems and how that works. Uh, we do offer that, so if you present that to uh, your insurance company, they might be able to give you a discount. Uh, in Kansas, it is up to 10%, but that's going to be up to the, the insurance company on how much they're actually going to do. Uh, we've seen up to 10% for uh, Kansas. So I did have a little, couple of little options down there for us. Uh, if that's if that's the way we can go, we can certainly add those, and those can be added later, uh, deleted later. It's just kind of it's it's really friendly, user friendly on how we want to program it and set it up. This would be a basic. I did include one year of uh, monitoring. Our monitoring is one of the lowest around. Uh, it is twenty four ninety nine for the uh, monthly subscription for monitoring. And I included that as a one year in there. And the third page would be the health department. That's pretty much the, the same equipment. I did not add uh, the door locks on those. I, maybe they need them, maybe they don't. That's, that's up to you. We can certainly add those later if that's something you want to do. Uh, it's going to use uh, less door and windows and less motion sensors. So it's a little bit better on price with that. Also included is the one year. If we did add that push sure. lock, yeah, that's just another 230. Yeah, same price. We'll same price. Right. right, right. There will be yep. a, a Z-Wave module. Um, it's just the communications part between the lock and the radio also. Okay. It's fairly expensive. Very inexpensive on that. But yes, that's all that would do. Um, if you do decide to use the lock with a phone, uh, you can use a lock to the phone, the alarm system, you can arm disarm with the phone. I don't know that that's something you probably want your users to do, I don't, I don't, mm -hmm. but, but I do like the code of, I mean, it's going to funnel around a bunch of keys. Yeah, right. And for 230 bucks. So. Yeah, right. Well, I don't believe that, that is a... a code in there you can use there. Yeah. yeah. Right. And on one of these, I think the very last sheet. And those codes can be changed every, yes. you know, whatever you want, 34 months. Or, yeah. Yes. Yeah. There will be a, a master code for the alarm, and that master code will allow uh, that user, or whoever has that master code, to go in there and change users. Each user cannot change anything but arm and disarm. Um, they can do home automation. Um, this thing's crazy. We can set it up to do garage doors. Do garage doors. On there, it'll do three to four garage doors per panel. <coughs> Excuse me. And with that, when you go in, you punch in a code. It's going to open up the garage doors if you want. Um, we'll say if this garage door was left open for more than an hour, close it. You know, if I'm not there, I left. It's open. It's going to automatically close it. So there's several options that we can do with this. In the pamphlet, we'll kind of show that there. Third, third pack. And it kind of goes over that a little bit there on that second page. It should go into more depth here a little bit later also. Did you see it there? Okay, yeah, page four then. Page four will kind of go into that. Show you a little bit about how that how that works. There. That's one thing, you know, you punch in the code on the keypad, say if they're coming in for emergencies, they, we can set that up where they can punch that in and it'll open the door up and, oh, and that see. way they come in, punch that in, they, just, they can just jump in the ambulance and take off. Don't have to worry about hitting another another button to open the door. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. So, so our panel is pretty great. It does a lot of good things. Um, there's some wonderful features along with that. 
that come with some monitoring. Uh, APL. Um, APL is not seen in a lot of other panels. Um, Honeywell uses APL. APL, what it means is as soon as a sensor is triggered, it's going to send a signal to the alarm company. The alarm company is actually sitting there and they say, okay, we see this come in, we're going to wait. And they're watching that, waiting for somebody to hit a cancellation button on that pad. If they don't, then they're going to send, they're going to call uh, Stafford County 911 and say, hey, something's happening here, go. And they're going to send you know, the sheriff or the police right away. So that's going to wait for the alarm to actually go off. Right. You know, so if they come in, it's going to see that door open. If they do a smash and grab on the panel or something, they it's already triggered at the alarm company to notify. So if it doesn't get a cancellation, then they'll go ahead and dispatch. Right, and I didn't go over that very well. I'm sorry. The a normal panel, once the alarm goes off in the panel, it's going to wait for a cancellation before it ever tells the alarm company that something was wrong. If somebody smashes and grabs those panels, you're just out of luck. With ours, once it's triggered, if they smash it and grab it, the alarm company still knows that there's a problem if they didn't get a cancellation. To where others, if they smash it and grab it, it's just not going to go off. These are radio. We use AT&T service for those. Uh, that's what Honeywell likes. That's what they use. Uh, that is included in the monitoring fee for the service. So the phone line, you know, you know trying to find a phone line and, and all this stuff, or Wi-Fi. So it's just we put panel anywhere that is needed. Don't have to worry about running any other wires. Is a touch panel. It does talk to you. Um, if a door or window is left open, it will tell you. Um, if you're sitting there in the office and maybe somebody comes in the back door, nobody knows about it, it will say whatever we program it as, whatever you want it as. South door open. So if somebody's sitting at the desk, they'll say, well, the south door's open, someone's coming in. So they're not going to be surprised. Yeah. That. So that, that uh, the door push button lock? Yes. For 230, that does the garage doors too. Is no. that what you're saying or not? No, it's capable. The garage, it'll have a garage door module right. okay. that would be added into it. Right. Do you know how much that would be? I don't have that with me right now. Okay. Uh, I can certainly get that to you. Uh, well, be... I was just thinking on the EMS, <laughs> fire and EMS building, that'd be kind of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. money right. well spent, I think. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And that's no problem. We can we can add that in to redo this bit if you guys would like. Not a problem. Well, that would be the only one that I would, I would okay. Okay. say that would be necessary. Okay. Um, and I can tell you it is not going to be uh, $250. Uh, so it's going to be under that. Do you want that? Push button lock added to the health department. Yeah. Too. Well, that's I've heard that on my bit. You said that was if we added that to the health department, yeah, that was the same. Two thirty. Two thirty. Okay. Okay. There's not very many people. Yeah, but I. For me, I mean, if, if you could punch it. She's got five people building. Got two part timers. Yeah. The three. You okay. said that everybody having well, keys. Three people. You don't want to know if they're copy them or. <laughs> yeah, right. you never know. I mean, you never know. There's the narcotics in there. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and that's why you know who came in when. Yeah, right. I just, I don't know. To me, I'd be a couple around a bunch of keys. I was just thinking it was only going to be probably three people at the most. Uh, there's more than that. But, uh, so that was. Our idea, pretty much in a in a nutshell, there. So on the on the first bid, back to your camera yes. deal. When you say the quantity of five, that's six cameras. So that's thirty cameras then. That is. Do you have the sheet? No. no. Well, no. Uh -uh. No, that was ours. Okay. Our, our notes. Okay. Because at the courthouse, there's four cameras. Right. You can okay. Go that. that was our little. Cheat sheet. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, that's where we came up with six. Okay. So on some of these, we may have a couple cameras left over, and and that's a great idea. Oh. Okay. If something happens, one of them gets vandalized, we'll have another one somewhere to add on to it. Or if we want to add another one in the future somewhere else, it's already here. All we have to do is run cable and install. So that. Could yes. you print that off? Can we copy this? Absolutely. 
And the reason we chose to go with the FLIR kits um, is because we could go with a server and connect them all through a server, but it uses a whole lot more bandwidth um, and security issues on opening ports throughout the whole network. That this is going to be a little more secure, a lot more secure and user friendly. So that's why we went with individual NVRs at each location instead of doing, you know, like at the annex, we could we could have put cameras there to tie into the server here. Right. But the security issue, as far as the internet, we wanted to eliminate having them to have that problem there. And the battery backup runs each one of them. Then? Mm -hmm. Each one will have a battery backup. Okay. And that's just, that's a great idea, even though the courthouse may have its own generator. What those do is there's some kind of lag in between generator time and the time it starts. And time it starts. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's going to take away the flicker time. Yeah, because it's instantaneous. You won't, you won't lose any time there with the battery backup. With the software on these, you'll be able to watch any any one of these locations except for we. Watch any one of the locations on one piece of software on each computer. Yeah, you can do it internally here. You can do it, you know, when you got if you're if you do decide to do it on your phones, which I don't know if you will or not, um, but you can view it there. But you know, internally, um, it's nice to be able to see what's going on. It will not use any type of bandwidth unless you're viewing it. So then when you're actively viewing it, it's going to use some. It's not going to use a lot. We're probably looking at maybe three or four megs on your LAN side, on your local side of use. So it's not a ton. So that's a good thing with FLIR also compared to our exact server system. With this application, that's why, like Rob said, that's why we decided to go with the NVR system. It's a kit. It comes with the six cameras, the NVR, where the other ones are all separate. So this is a little cheaper way to go, and but the quality is outstanding. Because the other one will use bandwidth constantly. That's and what we didn't want. Yes, yeah, so when we discussed that, we wanted to make sure we got away from using all the bandwidth, though. Right. Now, you mentioned AT&T. Yes. Was that just as in phone service or AT&T? That is. That is just the communication side for the alarm panel. It uses AT&T towers to communicate with. So do we have AT&T here? Yeah, because I have an iPad and I've used it down here. And it, the, the iPads use... Basically it would be like a cell service. It's a cellular service. service. Right, yeah. yeah, I've got an iPad that has the AT&T service and it works down here. Yeah. But is that AT&T service part of this? Monitoring they, they, yeah, they use their towers, but it all goes through the alarm company, which is in, included in the, uh, the monitoring, monitoring fee. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's 25 bucks a yeah. month. And that's your basic, I mean, there's different tiers you can get into as far as automation, viewing on your phone, all your different uh, switches, which you'll never use yeah. there, as far as remote in anyway. Right. Yeah. But we want you to be aware of it anyway. Uh, so if you did this site, you get through it. It's just an easy change. Cool. Yes. Because I know I had an 18 t phone and I had to go down here at the intersection of 52. <laughs> well, if we do run into something like that, we can't put in an extra on the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. This perch with the pigeon on it. Oh, yeah. Once his name on Green Acres had it fine to the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to stop. Okay. Give us a call. If uh, you just want to come in and take a look at the camera systems, we do have those on display. at the same system. Okay. Actually have. And you might be able to pull up on his phone and you kind of get an idea. We're working with Brian here, so. Right. <laughs> you can get a second here. <laughs> That's all. Everything you presented is buying and owning it if you don't have a lease for the rental. That's correct. Everything's buying, you own it. The only the only thing there that you're going to have 
is a monthly fee for the alarm system. And uh, I figured that as to a year. Anyway, here's what it'll look like on the phone, on the cameras. Um, if you want to view a single camera, just pull it up like that. You can see actually in our store right now. Mm -hmm. They're working in there. So, I don't happen very often. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> Not while I'm going anywhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> so then you just tap it and get it back to the four screen. And that is the same exact kit and the cameras uh, that we'll have here. The exact same kit there. And on, a, on an iPad, it's really nice. And then on a computer, it's, you know, of course, it's going to be bigger. And, and it actually gets more clear on the computer than it will be on the phone. Uh, this is not a high def yeah. resolution. Yeah. So, great. Cool. Guys, anything else we can answer for you? I, I can't think of anything. Okay. Think. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Yep. Okay, All right. thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Thanks. That was a nice camera. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys, have a good day. Good to talk to you. Thank you again. Uh -huh. See you guys. See you. Thank you. Systems. Will that be in what this year's budget or next year's? We purchased them this year. This year's. Well, I know, but it, what is there room there or no? Oh. I believe there is. But they're looking at what? Um, That's kind of the middle of the road compared to your other two. Yeah. I've got a spreadsheet. Yeah. That's, it's going to be 21000 or 22000 or better. Yeah, but they have had some employee turnover with what I've heard through the grapevine that's kind of put them on the back burner, I think. And I don't remember on the bandwidth on the other ones what they were using and what that would curtail.
not just something that you shouldn't have built the bar was high. What? There's something that said built the club was high. <laughs> so half that. Yours was half that. Mm -hmm. It's the highest price. You know, it's the easy buying or yeah. yeah. There's a commercial rate. Here's the parents want TV deal? I don't know. Yeah. How hard? Did they? Mm -hmm. wonder how they like that. I don't think it was all fired up about these things. I think they said so. Happy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was, <laughs> thought it was great. <laughs> so, the old guy was talking about four, four or five DVR. Yeah. I think it should be. <laughs> She's going to hire my new front yard. 
looks very nice, by the way. I was going to tell you that the other day. Every time you see it, it's in the dark, though. This time you're going to see it in the light. I was in down there the I other day. I saw the other day when the water was going down the gutter. It does that. The water that was flushing. Yeah, that's wet. I think my mom stepped out in it. Yeah. Get out of the vehicle. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, it's, yeah, it's been running a lot. They run three times a day. Just to keep it wet. And they start probably taking off pretty good. Then. Yeah, that works pretty good. Okay, right, come back and clean the sprinkler a little bit. Good uh, program. Not a great method at all. Then. What? Um, you said you got the tree planted. Is that from north here? Did you put the sulfur down? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the nitrates were high over there. Where that is? I'm not far from the Can't be a stranger. Or a few nitrogen? What is it? I don't know what he said. <laughs> I'm not a farmer. It was too high, and something else was high, but they weren't going to worry about that, so. Yeah. Did you check on that for him? Blend. soil sample. We think we got the water system all running. That's what we'll figure out. Just a bit around. I'll hook him up to take this track. But he hasn't got released. Huh. He's how he did the flower beds for me. We did that. Again? We still just come up once. <laughs> <laughs> and what else happened? Oh, the air conditioner at the annex quit when they were having their big water meeting. So I had to call Davidson and Kevin came to fix that. We thought we had a leak in the, and this is all yesterday. We thought we had a leak in the bathroom on the first floor, men's, but Cindy mopped it up and we don't know where the water came from. We're not expecting it. <laughs> um, I didn't ask. Oh, oh did he have to change my door? So you'll hear about that. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Awesome. Anyway, yeah, it was the, be the janitor day. I think we can take this down capital improvement because this says, including the repair, restoration, and rehabilitation of existing public facilities. I said we tried. We should qualify the school on the left to take that out of capital. I'd say you're good to go. Do you want to do anything like that now? Do you want to think about it? Think about it, do it next week? Or? Okay. I'll say I'd like to look at these bits one more time against, against each other. You haven't heard anything from the auditor? Mm -hmm. the auditor on um, the budget? I keep checking my email. She thought she would have it today. Did you ever figure out what our total was last year? Our total? Uh, this is the total I came up with after we took the numbers. For your total budget? Uh-huh. Uh, all, everything. Um, no, I didn't know any. It's all one more. Yeah. <laughs> and, and just for the record. I know, I missed that one. <laughs> several. I did? Yeah, several. Where? Well, this one is... Less. Well, I. Okay. And employee benefits is less. They have the same. It should be the same. So should that be 89? Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, now my number is going to be 3,000. Oh. It's what? Yeah. It's 89. It's about per. 1,089,000. What, what else? I'm not going to say 86. <laughs> So this one was wrong. Now. Yes, the hysterical was wrong. Historical. <laughs> hysterical. Okay, but. <laughs> but thank you. That's no, very nice. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. And I'm glad to, to have before. copies in color. No, that was not, easy. I'm not easy to see. <laughs> it yeah. really helped us. Whatever. And you forgot the golf course on there. I had them on my other sheet, so one that you weren't privy to. 
<laughs> what are you talking? Are you? Are we still on? Yes. What are we going to talk about at the meeting today? Anybody got any? Just asking. What hurts each other? Do you need to yeah. kind of get it? Oh, that's the thing. Like, well, I would like to get some I ideas. I want ideas to. about this pay scale deal. <laughs> I do because I, the, well, what the pay scale we have is your joke. biggest opponent is not going to be there. Well, she's. I've had this discussion with her several times. I would like to come up with a better pay scale. <laughs> And I would like to come up with an idea of just because you've been here a year longer don't mean you deserve a raise. This step. This step. Right. I'd, I'd like to do one or the other. No, I don't even want to do one or the other. Just because you've been here another year, in my opinion, isn't deserving of a pay increase. Okay. Yeah, that depends upon the department head, too. Well, it is, so, but. You know, yeah. that's what we said several months ago, and, you know, and the department head has got to vouch for the employee they rather than saying, oh, they're, they're for they've been here a year. Right. It's time for their increase. So that would be that would be on my list of things to talk about. You want to bring that up if I go on it? I will. <laughs> I mean, we got to come up with something. We got to start the ball rolling somewhere. I mean, that's, and I don't know if. Um, do you remember what that cost to have that study done when you guys did that play? At Peters, it wasn't it like five thousand yeah, dollars? You know, and is that something we need to do well, every? What you get out of your money? They go over what we already have in place and say, yeah, it's good. Well, they, they do, they and do. they compared it to other. But yeah, that's, I mean, now you can go on the internet and get that. True. And then they they took like 10 comparable counties in the state. Last time we did it was 2012, and we paid them $3,150. Uh, Before that was 2008, we paid $3,260. Well, about $3,000. Yeah. And the last time we did it was 12? 12. 12. I would just like to give a simple, not necessarily an annual <coughs> increase system, but something. How would you do it? I don't have a good idea, Kurt. I mean, I've, I've thought about this, but I don't know if you. I mean, if you do an employee evaluation, you know, and a job description and list what different they're doing or what added responsibilities they've got or you know on an annual or the auditors do want us to start their evaluation. Oh you can do it. <clears throat> or if you do it every couple of years or I mean if, yeah, we, if, right. if everybody's hung up on this cost of living deal, then I want to get away from an annual step -in. So if we or the did, ones that haven't been here seven years or whatever. Yeah. The time deal to me is irrelevant. Um, well, I mean, the, their, their service is great. Absolutely. But, but I don't think it's fair that they get an a increase, a, a cost of living increase, and a step increase just because they've been here a year, another year. <clears throat> But I do think that for the most part, I would like to look at other counties our size and see what the average, you know, what the road bridge guys make and what the treasury office makes and what the well, they, they would be in office. that twelve. Though. Yeah, and just and be the supervisors. Kid has average, and then and the employees. Yeah. But what you're saying is do a work performance review every right. year, and then based off of that review have a merit increase of a of a percent. A 
question is whether we well, really understand what they say in their evaluation. Well, that's true too, and that's why I, that's why I, that's why I'm hesitant on saying we do it every year. I mean, I'd like the evaluations every year, but I don't necessarily say that the how honest is it. I mean, we had the same thing at school. They had to well, do evaluations every year. Well, I don't think it year. is. Is I, it your buddy or? Yeah. You know? I mean, they work for you, so. Oh yeah, yeah. He does a good job. Well, yeah. Is there air? Is would all the employees that actually have electric janitor? How would he? You would evaluate him. Okay. We would evaluate him. Yeah, he, mm -hmm. you're. And we're not in here. Yeah. Exactly. I mean. What other employees would probably be covered by a supervisor? Oh, no, like Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Ryan. But he, Bill he's Bill. the department head, really. Yeah. He'd probably be, uh, the janitor might be the one that didn't fit in there uh, very well. I think it, I mean, off the top of my head, yeah, he would be the main one. Yeah. And we wouldn't have anything to do with the extension council. Yeah. Or any permanent development. So I don't, that's just something I've been. Do we, do we have those Austin Peters books someplace? Yeah. Is that, the, that should be something that they observe and evaluate anyway.